YouTube, Shoebox Legends here, coming back with a tip of the cap episode today. This one is going out to my buddy Ed Wesker Griff here on YouTube, in case you couldn't tell by the intro and the background. Been a little while since I did one of these tip of the cap episodes, but the idea here is to give a shout out to a YouTube channel or community member that I enjoy and kind of uh, in the style of their channel or videos and also hopefully show off some cards that I think that collector or channel would appreciate in the hobby. So Ed is the man. I am sure that if you are subscribed to this channel and have watched my content, and certainly if you've been on YouTube for any length of time, you are aware of Wesker Griff. He is uh, one of the longest running channels that I'm aware of, and I know because I've gone back into the archives. Uh, a lot of times when I subscribe to a channel, I'll go all the way back to the beginning, check out their early videos, and and Ed's been on the platform, I want to say, I didn't pull it up uh, before shooting here, but at least 10 years, maybe in excess of 15 years, uh, started off doing TTMs and uh, really gets into a little bit of everything over there. I, I love his approach to the hobby. He's a big fan of modern cards, um, does get into shine, does get into some vintage, collects non-sport, um, random cards, dude with dudes with funny names. I mean, you name it, Ed gets into it, and I love the variety on his channel, it never disappoints. Um, he's got a lot of times a music tie-in, which you saw at the intro of this uh, episode where he'll show some live concert footage. Ed's a big con concert buff and uh, often has good beers and albums in the backgrounds of his video while he's showing off cards. So this is my nod to you, Ed, and uh, chose a handful of cards here that I think you would appreciate. And we'll start with a vintage card because I have seen you show vintage Phillies at times. Uh, Ed lives in the Philadelphia area and is a Phillies fan, longtime Phillies fan, and pretty diehard along with the Eagles and other local teams. So I decided it was a great time to show off this 54 Bowman Robin Roberts for my budding set build, one of the more underrated starting pitchers in uh, the history of the game, and one of the greats ever to play for Philadelphia, or to take the mound for them at least. Uh, this is a card towards my set. As I mentioned, I do get the Hall of Famers graded even though I've shown a couple episodes now of my commons, which are ungraded and stored in a wooden box that I picked up recently. So there's a nice vintage card. And then, of course, the way that I wanted to uh, get through the bulk of this episode was showing off some Juan Soto. Uh, Ed is one of the biggest Juan Soto fans that I know. He has dubbed Soto the man who saved baseball for his performance in the 2019 postseason when he helped to bring the World Series to the Washington Nationals. And uh, as such, I have a few Soto cards here, uh, three slabs, and then one raw card that I think Ed would appreciate. And we'll start with uh, the first slab. This is a second year Juan Soto, fantastic card out of Topps Heritage. Uh, do wish he had a hat or a helmet on, but a uh, great dugout shot here with the bat rack and helmet rack in the background. You get the oversized uh, all-star rookie trophy that we get on Topps Heritage. And uh, last but not least, this is a short print. Uh, being card number 400 or above. So a short print from 2019 Heritage. Got this in slabbed PSA 9 format for under $20 uh, this past off season, which is criminal uh, for a short printed second year Soto. Everybody is uh, seems to be kind of snoozing on him again after a only so-so uh, 2022 campaign here. Uh, but we'll see if the Padres can make some noise in the playoffs. Uh, at least at the time that I'm filming this, they are in contention. Uh, next Soto, this is a pretty cool on-demand release, um, which I've seen Ed show some great cards from the Tops on-demand uh, and Throwback Thursday releases. This is one of those. Um, this is a rookie year card. I don't know if a purist would consider it a rookie card. This one might drive uh, my buddy Eric over at Those Back Pages nuts for having the RC logo, but it's a cool take inspired by 1978. And this is sort of what the 78 top set would have looked like if it had uh, full bleed photos instead of a white border. So they set the same inset border 
and the other details, but instead of a white outer border, they just went with a transparent photo all the way uh, full bleed to the edge of the card. I think it's a cool look. It was a novel concept. And again, for a rookie year card, I don't know if it's a rookie card or not, but a rookie year card, this was very, very cheap in uh, PSA graded format. So another fine nine there for the Soto collection. And then the third and final Soto slab that I have uh, for Ed and everyone else's enjoyment today is out of 2019 Topps Chrome. This is the uh, X Fractor of Juan Soto's second year Topps Chrome card with the Rookie Cup. I absolutely love this image and the layout of this card. I've spoken about it before and shown a few different versions, but I am after as many different iterations in paper and chrome format of this 2019 Soto with this great horizontal batting image as I can get my hands on. And this x Fractor is one of the more colorful, beautiful examples. Very happy to have this in a fine nine to go with those last two Soto slabs that we looked at. Um, so three great nines there for the Soto graded collection. And then we close it out with a card that I have actually seen this exact card uh, specifically shown on Wesker Griff's channel and not long ago either. Uh, actually picked this one up after uh, my friend Eric at those back pages had shown one off uh, maybe a year or so ago. This is a case hit out of Panini Prism. It is the Lava Flow from 2021. Check this card out. Great card here. It's got that great prism etching uh, throughout the uniform. You can see the wrinkles in the jersey there and the batting gloves. Like this card just glows. I love the background. Uh, in my hobby room, kind of off to the right here that you can't see off camera, I have a giant oversized lava lamp that I do turn on when I'm working from home and hanging out, listening to music. Uh, I've just kind of been into those ever since I was a teenager and decided a couple of years ago it'd be cool to get a giant one for the hobby desk for when I'm hanging in here. And so I just thought the tie-in to this lava flow card was perfect. Uh, my lava lamp is even orange lava, uh, so it really looks exactly like this card. And I just think this is a cool job by Panini. These are not um, serial numbered. They are case hits. I know that can really mean you know, a wide variety of things in terms of print run. Um, I don't think there are you know, only 10 of them out there, but I doubt there are 500 of them out there either. You know, maybe 100 or 75. I really don't know, but um, it's a beautiful card and one that I'm very, very happy to have in the Soto collection. And then I'll be moving to a one touch holder uh, or maybe even putting it in my PSA grading pile as soon as I'm done shooting this episode. So that is a wrap on my tip of the cap to Ed Weskergriff. Awesome guy. Uh, Ed, really glad that I've been able to uh, meet you courtesy of this platform. Been a huge supporter of my channel and I really appreciate it. Love uh, your approach to the hobby and everything that you're doing over there. Uh, you're very well deserved in terms of your popularity and uh, looking forward to many more years of uh, commenting on each other's videos and enjoying the hobby together and maybe even meeting together in person uh, at a show or at the show someday down the line. So tip of the cap to you, Ed Wesker Griff. Keep it up. And to everybody else, really appreciate you stopping by. And until next time, as Ed likes to say, get amongst it.